this fruit has water in it. Yes, sir. And the water came from a thus. Yes, sir. The source is the tap root. Yes, sir. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. The source is the tap root and it gained water. Now I will eat it and it will nourish me. Amen. We are going to decree. My source will not be attacked by the enemy. My source can never be attacked. When your source is attacked, you will be, the person becomes dry. It's like someone in a dry and dusty land. Mm. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. No orange can be leaked that is disconnected from the source when Duh. it was germinating. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, yes, sir. This is juicy because it was gotten from a source. Mm. Jehovah, anyone that has sworn in his life uh. that I will be disconnected from the source of blessing. Fire. Father, disconnect them this night. Amen. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name Father, of Jesus. Father, in the name Father, of Jesus. Anyone that has sworn that, that, swore, that, that I, will be I will be disconnected from, from men. That I will disconnect from women. Father, in the name of Jesus. I come and that person to go down. Any man of woe that swear that I will be disconnected from my heaven. I Yes, sir. This fruit revives. I hear you, sir. This fruit gives vitamin. Uh -huh. Father, I decree in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let my life be beautiful. Amen. Let my life be nourishing. Amen. Let my let people look at me and say, You are juicy. Uh -huh. Let my income be juicy. Amen. Let my health be juicy. Amen. Anything I put my hand on. Let it be as juicy as this fruit. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. Open your mouth and declare that. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, Father, let my life be sweet again. Let my business sweet. Let my business sweet. Let my family be sweet again. Let my life be sweet. Let my peace be sweet together. Let my family be sweet. Let my peace be sweet. Let my life be sweet. Let my life be sweet. Rock up and the parada. Let what the penny do the Rock up and the second let my life be sweet. Let my family be sweet. Let my brothers and sisters be sweet. Stop it from now. Let my brothers and sisters. Jesus, man, step right. Hey, man. God, just open my eyes to something. Jesus. Go to an orange tree. Some people will go and urinate in the orange tree. Ah. Some people will pour soup. The things they used to wash plates. You know when you have orange in your backyard. In the village, we used to have one. That mm. is where they put that. That's where they urinate. That's where they defecate. Yet when the orange comes out, uh. the taste is not like the urine they poured on it. Yes, sir. The taste is not like the feces they defecated. Yes, sir. The taste is not like anything if you are around. Uh, here is, sir. Whether you are using orange or anything, uh. the fruit is not tasting like the soil. Where at all, from. at all. Father, no matter the soil, uh. I am all. No yes, matter sir. the foundation, I am, I am all. all. No matter the shrines that surrounded me, I am no on. matter what people said concerning my business, ah. I will not taste like what I look like. At all. I shall taste like what God made me to be like. Yes, sir. Open your mouth. Father, in the name of Jesus, I shall oh, taste like what I shall taste like God. My son shall taste like God. I will 
Just showed me to something again. Uh -huh. When you lick this orange, Jesus, eat that fruit, cucumber fruit, or anything, and you lick and pour the seed away. Mm. Do you, you have licked the juice and pour the seed away? Uh -huh. Yet this seed will tell you I'm not useless. Mm. That place you poured me, I'm coming out again. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm uh, yeah, yes, I don't sir. know if somebody's following me. Yes, sir. You lick the juice, uh -huh. it nourished you, uh -huh. and you threw the seed away. Uh -huh. And the seed will tell you, oh God. You have enjoyed the fruit, uh -huh. yet I will not be useless. At all. You will see the seed prating up again there. Yes, sir. You will say this prayer. Uh. Everything in me mm. will not be useless. At all. Now, come somebody now. Yes, sir. My hands will be useful. Amen. My heart will be useful. Yeah, amen. My mouth will be useful. Amen. My legs will be useful. Amen. Everything in me, uh -huh. around me, yes, sir. inside me, yes, sir. before me, yes, sir. behind me, yes, sir. useful. Yeah, amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, in me must be useful. My son must be useful. My head must be useful. My 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 head must be useful. My God. Hey, man, settle. Finally, we are going to decree. Father, I pray mm. every prophetic word, Jesus, as I partake of this fruit uh. after the prophet has blessed it, Jehovah, no more delay. Amen. Jehovah, no, no more delay. delay. Jehovah, no more more delay. Amen. Open your mouth and pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, okay, in the name of Jesus, as I put it on this fruit, it will pass it to Father. No more delay in my life. No more delay in my family. No more delay in my business. It will pass it to Father. No more delay. No more delay. No more delay. No more delay in their money. No more delay in their afternoon. No more delay in their mind. I will not experience delay again. I will not experience delay again. I support all this fruit. So I have a father. No more delay. 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 Yes, no more delay, 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 no more delay. Jesus, mighty name of prayer. Hey, man, shut up. I'm going to bless that fruit for you now. But before I pray over this fruit, I want to deeply apologize to you, ministers. The mic is not working. Most of your instrumental is reduced apart from my own. It's because we discovered that the generator cannot carry. If you watch, there are more equipment we are added. Our generator cannot carry that place. But I decree on this altar. Tomorrow, new generator is coming in. Hey, man. I don't know how it wants to happen. Oh. Jesus. I don't know how it wants to happen. But we won't use this generator next Sunday. Hey, man. The generator that we serve here is about close to 700, 800,000. Mm. That one was cutting for 200,000. It's a toy compared to our instruments. That's why most things are tuned down. But I don't care. I have spoken it on this altar. Yes, sir. Tomorrow, my God must bring it. Hey, man. Those watching online, those in here, I don't make calls like this. The media will display the church account on the lower third now. While you are preparing your sacrifice to close this fast, there's a, a 
church account no sorry is not also displaying here is the light issue we are talking about the current is down it's not showing here but people online are watching us so we have to off several things but you are watching online god leads you in this hundred thousand to buy generator i said it's between and tomorrow we must buy it god does not look for anyone I hear God, you, sir. you just see one person online that says my heart is open for this Good. before you know God will put mysterious money in the person's heart oh. and you will come here tomorrow and see the generator Amen. am I speaking to somebody now? yes sir I know my God how it works so I am saying it sweatlessly am I speaking to somebody now yes sir so you are online you are watching from Facebook from YouTube from TikTok those who are connected to this house you believe in this prophetic grace and you are with your fruits watching and God says slay a sacrifice as little as you can, 50,000, 20,000, 100,000, or just buy the generator and give to them, which I know you can. You know yourself watching online, and you know that God is speaking to you now. That account details there. I hope that is a church account details displayed now. Now lift your, you that is closing your fast, lift your seat up. Those who are making the sacrifice, send the detail, send your seats for the generator as God leads you, then send a message to that number that will show on your lower third our whatsapp line for some prophetic exercise for you because you can't sow that kind of dangerous seed and not drink from this altar now lift your sacrifice lift that seed up i decree as a prophet receive placed on this altar by god oh i command in the name of jesus every prophetic words you have said amen to from your tender age every good prayer mm. you have said amen to jesus may my god bring them to speedy manifestation hey man settle bless this fruit amen as you eat it before god oh. those who are watching online the presence of god is there amen may my god wipe shame from you hey man settle those of you who came to church who didn't remember as you go home with this same hand you are lifting up uh -huh. and you get a fruit with that same hand you are lifting Jesus. up Jesus may that hand also communicate these prayers to that fruit in the name of Jesus Amen. I decree I receive may this be the last time people will look at you and shame you Amen I decree I receive that your life becomes juicy hey, man. your life becomes a testimony hey, man. to those who God has laid in their hearts to Jesus. Say, I am doing this. I am I am. Out of those who are bringing this to manifestation. My people. God. My God, bring to manifestation. Even what you never asked for. In the name of Jesus. Hey, man. And when I say what you never asked for, I didn't say bad things. Good things that you wish for. Yes, sir. God bring them to pass. Amen. I am in prophetic mode. All you should have done is to drop your phone and to play well. I decree in the name of Jesus. I receive. Your prophecies will no longer have delay. Amen. It will no longer have delay. Amen. It will no longer have delay. Amen. Scholarship is coming for someone. Amen. As you eat your food, rent is being cleared. Amen. I see a landed property coming to someone. Amen. Car business, I see it open to somebody opening car business. Amen. That shop is having branches. Amen. Open doors are coming your way. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus mighty name, pray. Amen. Drop. I'm sure you have heard everything Pastor Mark Monaco have to say concerning our country, Nigeria. I'm sure that you're listening to every damn thing he, he has said about our country. You see, I keep saying this thing that we need to pray for, for Nigeria. We need to pray for Nigeria because I've looked at it, I've analyzed it, I've just, I've thought about it. The country really needs prayer. The country needs prayer because I don't know why things are not really working in the country. I don't understand why our leaders are so strong-hearted. I don't understand why the people that are supposed to be serving us are acting as if we are supposed to be serving them. I don't understand why they cannot decide to fix this country once and for all. If you ask me, I don't understand. I don't understand it. Because look at the way the country is going. And it's like they are not shaking. They are not feeling anything. No matter what the men of God have said, nothing. No matter how much the, the, the people have cried, they are not doing anything about it. Why? Please, if you know why, let me know in the comment section. Because me, I've tried to understand it, but I cannot just wrap my head around it. Why these people, they are like this? 
every time we are hearing that this will happen, this will happen, and if you follow Pastor Mark Miracle track record, you see that most of his prophecies they come they come to pass. So look at this, look at series of events, the series of events that have played out just in this year 2024 alone. Just imagine. That's how I said it in, in my previous video that if you do, if you are not strong, eh, if you don't have strong heart, if you if 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 you are not built very well, eh, you will not be able to survive in this country, Nigeria. You will not be able to. And that is why when we leave this country to another place, we accept. Because there is nothing that will happen in that country that we have not seen before. Nothing, nothing, there is nothing in this our eyes have not seen. So when we go out there, we accept because of the hardship. But that does not mean that they should be, they, 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 they want to suffocate us in this country. The leaders, these politicians, greedy people. So please, I want to urge us. You have listened to everything Pastor Makunaka have said to be happening. The one that needs to be prayed about, let us pray about it. Eh? I am begging us. I know that we say Nigeria don't need prayer. If you follow the way Nigeria is doing it, eh, you will not want to pray for this country. The country, in fact, the country needs sanitization. I've said it that we need to fumigate and sanitize the country. That is what we need now. Because I don't understand why the country is... Look, eh? Oh, I just... The one reason I know that God sent this on this country eh, is that some, if some country face half of what we are facing, eh, they will not be able to stand. But we have been going through all the things that these politicians have been throwing at us, all the mess up they have been, been creating in this country, and we are still here, alive and strong. Though some people have died, but I'm telling you that if some countries go through half of what we are going through, majority of them will be wiped out. But we just thank God that we are here. And that is why always I encourage us that we pray for our country. It's not because we are enjoying the situation of the country. It's not because things are going on well. It's not because we love everything that we are seeing. It's not because we plan for this type of life. But we need to be praying for the country, for God to at least help us fix this country. Because at this point in time, I feel that it is only God that can help us fix the country. I don't understand. Every time one problem to another. Every time one problem to another. Every time. And the thing is, if the youth, if the people complain, let me not even say the youth, if the people complain, <laughs> nothing is happening. If people complain, nothing is happening. Before I even just continue, just listening to what this, uh, 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 what this, uh, our fellow Nigerians are saying, just listen, you, you just listen to how bitter most of them are. They, nobody is happy in the country again. I just want you to listen to what these people have to say about our country. To tell you how bad it is. Listen to, just listen, listen. Not to, not to slaughter them. <laughs> eh? We know play make them they alive. Not to wipe all those, eh, all these eh, illegal Ogoni people. They work for all this eh, Niger, Nigeria. They say hunger too much. Mm. Hunger, come on, Gary. Where first go carry Gary put for water drink. Gary cause, low low cause. He shot everything. Nothing there normal. We all know that. I don't know of other states, but in my states, there are houses that for a good four or five days, they cook nothing and they sleep on nothing and they feed on nothing. People now go out to beg. Even those that are not supposed to beg now go out to beg. I'm sure you have heard it for yourself. Everybody is, everybody is frustrated and tired. Everybody is frustrated and tired. Yet, the, go the government will see all this thing, you know, but they will do nothing about it. The government, has see they will not tell me that they are not seeing it. They are seeing every damn thing, but they have decided that they will not do anything about it. They have decided that instead of they will fix this country, Nigeria, that they will that let all of us die. You can see how frustrated the people are sounding. You can see. Yet, you, you ask them, our one of our lawmakers, Abi, our deputy, what, 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 in the House of Rep, they uh, said that uh, uh, what, what was he even saying that they, they, they will reduce their salary uh, uh, by by half for six months. Then after six months, what next? And just listen, listen to what this man is saying. Just listen to him. I'm moving that we amend that prayer to include that members sacrifice 
maybe 50 percent of our salary for a period of three months or six months to help nigerians and to show that we are in support uh, i so move mr speaker i hope you have heard what he said now the question is after six months what next these are the people that are supposed to be serving us they are acting as if they are doing us a favor let us pray about everything pastor makurako have said let us pray because at the end of the day if we don't pray about it the country will continue to move backward the country will continue to remain stagnated they will continue to suffer in the country we will continue to go through this hardship we will continue to beg like we are beggars in our own father's land enough is enough if you are not tired me i'm tired these politicians really have to stand up and start doing things for us look at how frustrated our people are look at it i watched another uh, uh, interview of uh, uh, where they were asked, talking to uh, uh, our fellow nigerians about the things going on in the country just listening to what they are saying, one cup of garlic, 300 naira. some people are saying it's 300 some people are saying it's 250 some people are saying it's two just listen just pay attention i know why i'm showing you all this thing so that you understand the reason why we need to pray just listen today we are on the streets of Lagos to ask Nigerians what are their experiences with the high cost of living as well as their coping mechanism. I am Olua Shem Mohammed. It has not been easy uh, since uh, the drastic change that took place in Nigeria. Talking about the, the increase in fuel, you know, before you can just uh, run, go to a filling station, get fuel and smile away. But nowadays, it seems they... The money is increasing every day. Every day you go, the pump price has jumped up. And uh, anytime you get it, you get angry with yourself, you get angry with the country. But if you look at the problem in the country, you will wake up, you will sleep with sadness and wake up with sadness. We are coping at two ads, two over ads have been coping. No? But you don't even know what to call about that coping. The coping is not easy. But no matter how it is, we're going to thank God. The way we eat before, we cannot eat again now. We used to eat three times. Now, sir, I need to eat two times. That very hard to eat two times. So, I can say I'm surviving by the grace of God. It's God's grace that's keeping me. I'm sure you have heard it. So, after hearing all these things, now you say you will not pray about the country, eh, brother? Sister, you say you will not pray about this country until we die because you want to weaken the police. See, eh, um, let us do where to pray for this for our country. Let us do well to pray for our country. And I believe that everything is going to get well again. Not despite all the hardship that we are seeing right now, everything is going to get well again. Earlier this year, even Papa Deboye mentioned it, that a, wave will, a wind will blow and then things will become hard and then things will become better. If you have learned it, just listen to where Papa Deboye said it. Listen. You can write this in capital letters. The wind is blowing. And so you should include in your prayer that the wind will blow you, you good. Mm. Because the wind is blowing. It's already blowing. You, you can't stop the wind. As far as Nigeria is concerned, my beloved children, things will get worse before it gets better. Mark my word. That's what Daddy says. We're already complaining that things are hot, huh? The good news is the wind is already blowing. As it's going to get a bit hotter before it begins to cool down. I'm sure you have heard it. I know why I'm letting you watch all these things so that you will understand that no matter what we are facing through right now, if we can come together and pray about all these things, everything is going to be better. Nigeria will be better again. Nigeria will be greater. Nigeria will be bigger. Papa Debo have said it, that things will be hard, then things will not become better. 
I know you may not like him. You may not say you will say oh, he is not saying anything about it, but at least he, he he has said it. I'm not telling you to like him. I'm just showing you this so that you will have hope and believe. You have heard everything Pastor McMiracle have said. The next thing we need to do is to pray about it. Join me to pray about this country. Let us pray. Nigeria is the only country we have. I don't know about you, but me, I don't have another country. I don't have dual citizenship anywhere. This is my country. And I will do the little I can to make sure that this country pro make progress, that this country moves forward. So I am begging you, let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria, please. Yes, you are angry. Your anger is understandable. You have every right to be angry. But let us not get to the angry, let us not get angry to the point that we forget to pray or we neglect to pray about our country. This is our country. I am begging us. Look at all the things Pastor Mark Miracle have said. Are you going, are we just going to sit down and fold our hands and say, let these things happen? The good ones he said will, he will, it will happen. Let us pray that it happens. But you see those bad and ugly ones. Let us pray that God flushes it out from our, our country. Please, I am begging us. Even though you want Nigeria to divide, at least for now, let us try to pray and do whatever we can to make sure that this country at least will remain as one and fix the country. Then later, we cannot talk, we cannot talk about division. I am begging us. I am begging us. I am not enjoying what is going on in the country. I myself am not enjoying what is going on in the country. I'm not enjoying it. You hold 10,000 naira, you can't you can buy anything. You hold 50,000, you can buy. Sometimes I will sit in the room and want to cry because it's like you are making money, the money is going. You, the money is wasting. It's like you don't know what... I don't, please, let us do well to pray for our country. We need to fix this country as fast as possible, even though you not do it for yourself. Let us do it for our unborn children. Let us do it for, 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 for posterity. Let us do it for the next generation. Let us pray. Let us pray. And I will plead with all pastors, all our spiritual leaders, because I know, I keep saying this thing, that if Papa E.A. Adeboye, Papa Yedebo, Dr. Paul Enenche, all these God's generals that we have in Nigeria, they decide to come together as one and pray for this country, I am telling you with all certainty that God will answer them. But it's like we have a Christian Association of Nigeria. We have never seen them come together to pray. I know that all of you pray individually in your church. But can't Pastor Chris and all the rest, all of you come together and pray? Are you telling me that God will not answer all these people? Please, I am begging us. I am begging us. Let us pray for our country. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. If I need done, you will not see you will not see me because of the way the camera is positioned. Else I would have net done. Else I would have net done. Else I would have net done to beg God that will pray for, for our country. In fact, let me know that. Please. Please, I am begging us. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Nigeria needs prayer. No matter what you think, no matter what you believe, at this point in time, people are suffering. People are dying. People are hungry. People are starving. Please, let us pray for our country, Nigeria. I beg you. I beg you. Put aside your political affiliation. Put aside your tribe. Put aside religion. Put aside everything. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Please, Nigeria needs you. Nigeria needs me. Nigeria needs everybody. Look how hard things are in the country. Just look at. Hmm? Look at the way things are going. Look at price of tomato. Look at price of onion. Look at price of pepper. Are we going to continue like that? Are we going to continue like that? People are hungry. The government is not doing anything about it. You complain, they will not move. You, you cry, they will not shake. Why not let us call onto the one, the I am that I am, the omnipotent and omniscient redeemer. The one who is and who was and who is to call them everlasting. He said, call unto me, all ye that carry every burden. He said, I will give you rest. Let us pray to him. He can give us rest in this country. Because we don't have rest here. Especially if you're a believer. 
The Bible says we are the light of the world, that we are like a city that is built upon a hill that can never be hidden. Let us shine our light. Let us do all we can do. I am begging us. Have faith. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all the heart and lean not in your own understanding. Some of you may want to insult me, but you may not know the reason why I am saying we should pray. I am begging us. Please, let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. And I believe that as we pray, that everything is going to be okay. Nigeria will be better, Nigeria will be greater, Nigeria will be bigger. I know so. I believe so. I have no doubt that this country, Nigeria, will be better again. But you have to play your role. I play my role. Every other person play their role. If the government have said that they will not do anything, that they want all of us to die of hunger and starvation, let us take their case to God. God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we can think or ask for according to the power that is at work in us. Yes, Kenya did it and it worked. Nigeria is not Kenya. I'm not saying we should not go and protest. Yes, on the day, any day they fix protest, I will be out there to protest. But in as much as we are, as long as we are, in as much as we are doing the physical part, let us not neglect the spiritual part because life is more spiritual than physical. Life is more spiritual than physical. The spiritual controls the physical. Before anything will move in this physical, it, it must first of all be moved in the spiritual. So please, I am begging us, let us do what we can do to save our country, Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do it to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell, so whenever I post another video, you will be notified. If you are a returning subscriber, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for always stopping by to watch our video. Please, don't forget, like and drop a comment. So by doing this, it triggers the YouTube algorithm to continue to recommend the video to more people. Please, I am begging us, let us pray for our country, Nigeria. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. It is important. It is vital. Let us pray for our country, Nigeria. I beg you, please, join me in, on this mission to pray for our country, Nigeria. I announced it here that I will be starting a live session. I was supposed to... I, I, will, I will give us the, the particular date. But when, immediately I said it in one of the videos, somebody started abusing me. But... What are we going to do? I love Nigeria. I want the country to do well. The same way I love you, I want you to do well. I want you to be happy. I want you to live peacefully in your father's land, in Nigeria, in our country. That is why I'm so much interested in, in the peace and unity of this country. So I'm begging us, let us do whatever we can do to assist this country to move forward. The politicians, they I don't know what they, what they are their problem is why they are so wicked. But I know that God is going to intervene. He is going to help us. He will not let us remain like this. God will not continue. If we, as long as we keep praying and calling him, he will not let us remain like this. He will not. I know him. I trust him. He will not. And I need you to trust him too. Have faith that he is going to bring us out of this, this bitter situation. Just have that faith. Have that faith. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to share the video on all social media platforms. Share with your friends and loved ones. God bless you as you do so. I'll see you in the next video. You are blessed. I have good news for you. Your will is being written. I am what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.